What's up, guys? All right. What's up, guys? Mr. Royal Standard here. And uh, today we are going to be breaking some vintage football. So I have this 1998 Flair Ultra Box. Um, yeah, so we're going to be looking for Peyton Manning, uh, Charles Woodson. Got my Charles Woodson card in the back. That's the only Charles Woodson card I have. And then, of course, Pat Tillman's in this box, too. I got a old school Jake Plummer card right there. Um, uh, yeah, and, oh, and Randy Moss. So, Peyton Manning, Charles Woodson, Randy Moss, Pat Tillman. Um, yeah, man, let's just get into this break. So, I bought this box from like a guy. Oh, let me adjust this real quick. Okay, sorry guys, welcome back. Had to adjust the camera real quick. So, real, real quick. All right, welcome back. So, I had to adjust the camera real quick. All right, let's cut this. I don't want to. I really want to be careful because I actually kind of want to save the box. Whoa, that was dangerous. Okay, there's like a hole right here. There we go. There we go. Let's see if that is good enough. I am wearing gloves. Um, oh, that's beautiful. I am wearing gloves because I work with cars. And yeah, I'm not taking that chance. All right, perfect. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's open this baby up. I want to try to keep this box as nice as possible. I wonder if I should open it that way, if I should do it with this. Oh, what is going on right now? Okay. So this opens, but I think I should just open it like this. Let me see. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to save this box. That's why I'm not trying to just rip the fuck out of it. Oh, my goodness. It's going to make me rip it. Okay, so now what? It does that. Oh, it folds. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Come on, guy. Okay, just rip it. Okay. There we go. Being a bitch. Hey, hey, there we go. Right. Okay, there we go. Let's put this back here. Oh my gosh, I have to adjust the camera again. Okay, so we got this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Here we go. Not nice. Let's just leave that back there. Okay. All right. So, 20, 20 packs, 10 cards per pack. Yeah, let's just get it. All right. <laughs> I'm super stoked, man. Oh my God, this is so fun. Okay, here we go. Peyton Manning, baby. So we have a Marcus Allen. Let's hope these cards aren't sticked. Oh, they are sticked together. Okay. We have a Marcus Allen. It's a nice card. Okay. Oh, let me put this away. Marcus Allen. Now we have a Byron Hanshard. Okay. Atlanta Falcons. Here we go. Troy Brown. I like that. Troy Brown, Patriots legend. This is, uh, let's see here, Terry Allen, Redskins, come on, let's go. Okay, so we have our first rookie, Peyton Manning rookie. I mean, it's him in his, uh, his college uniforms, but right on, man. Hopefully we can get one with him in that Colts uniform. Let me put this down. It's stuck to something. Son of a gun. Oh, these cards are stuck. Okay, well, we hit our first Peyton Manning rookie. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and uh, sleeve this puppy up real quick. Okay. Put the one in there. Bingo. First Peyton Manning rookie of the box. So these boxes have one rookie um, every three packs. At least that's the odds. Beautiful one. Hopefully we can get one with him in the coach jersey. All right, let's put that in that stack. This is a Robert Brooks uh, stuck, and a Chris Gedney Cardinals fan here, but I have no idea who this is. Let's go ahead and sleeve him. 
Yep. So I am a Cardinals fan. I do not live in Arizona. I live in Hawaii, but my grandfather lives over there. And honestly, I the reason why I'm a Cardinals fan is number eleven, Larry Fitzgerald. He's the only reason why I'm a Cardinals fan, man. Um, I followed him in college, and he went to the Cardinals, and that was it. And my my grandparents live in Arizona too. Uh, what is this, Eric Kramer? Oh, Steve McNair, man. That guy's a tragic story. He was really good, too. And Arenas Williams. Sorry, this is a big pool for me. I love Arenas Williams. Cardinals fan, like I said. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I, I, I like how I'm more excited about the <laughs> Arenas Williams card that's worth nothing than I am about the <laughs> Peyton Manning rookie. But I do not care. I am throwing him on the back wall. Matter of fact, let's throw Peyton Manning back here, too. I'm just going to put him. Above the Jake Plummer. All right. I love that. I love Arenas Williams. The guy's a legend. Hey, great first pack. Not a, not a bad first pack. All right. We got, a, we got a lot more to go, though. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay. All right. First card is a Sean whatever. Don't know his name. Kendrell Stewart. Man, these cards are all over the place. Chris Warren. DJ McDuffie, Troy Aikman, checklist, Troy Aikman, checklist. So I, I think the checklists, what does that mean? It's like, because I know it says something about like three checklists. So I'm going to sleeve this up because I have no idea if this has any value. Um, and because it's Troy Aikman. So let's just see. Uh, can probably use this for toilet paper later. I'm just joking. I'm just a very big Car Cowboys hater. My mom's a huge Cowboys fan, so if anything, I'll probably give her that card. Another Kendall Stewart. Who's this? Reggie Brown. Ray Lewis with a Cardinal in it. I'm a huge Ray Lewis fan. That's a beautiful card. All right. Chris Galloway. And Randall Hill. Okay. Not a bad pack on that one either. All right, we got a bunch more to go. Okay, let's try and get this thing in there. Okay, open the next one. There we go. All right. Let's see. Ray Leathers. Okay. Work done. Hey, we're done, man. I think that was a great running back. Oh! Oh, I thought it was Jamal Lewis. Jermaine Lewis. Okay. I remember Jamal Lewis. Jamal Lewis was a beast. All right, here we go. Who is this? Deuce Staley. I believe he's a coach now, too. This guy was a beast, too, man. I used to love this guy in Madden. It used to be him and uh, Corey Bacalter. And then Brian Westbrook, obviously, but... Yeah, man. Okay, Reggie, Reggie White commemorative card. So it's an insert. I'm going to put this one over here. What is that? Wow. Jerry Rice, Sensational 60. Let's go ahead and put these down. Take a look at this card. It's a nice card. Oh, and it's numbered. 46 out of 60. Beautiful. Okay, so that one's getting sleeved because of that. Oh, okay. So it's numbered. Right. All right. Oh, upside down. Okay. Wow. It's a beautiful one. Let's go ahead and put this over here. Is this one numbered? No, it's a... It's a what about this one? No. All right. So that's a... Put the insert over there. And this is a Johnny... Well, uh, nobody. Let's see. Jack or Lack Crockett... Willie Green and oh my god, these ones are stuck. And wow, Vinny Trestaverdi. The I only know his name because of the uniqueness of it. I've heard of him. Look almost like Joe Flacco. All right, two packs in, and that was freaking fire. That was not bad. We caught up. We caught a Jerry Rice uh, number card. We'll do a recap after, but let's just get back to ripping. Okay, here we go. Next pack. We have Fred Lane. OK, 
Okay, what is this? Much more. That's it. I'm gonna go quicker now, guys. I'm only gonna stop for like good stuff. What the hell is that? Jesus. Tony Martin. Okay. Stuff with another card. Antoine Smith. Dexter Gray. There's John Mobley. Isaac Bruce. Oh man, Isaac Bruce. Reggie White. Okay. There we go. Alright. Let's go next pack. Alright. Hope you guys are having just as much fun as I am. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, I'm the one ripping them. Alright. Let's see here. Come on, man. We gotta get a Peyton Manning, dude. I mean, him and... Uh, Foley. Okay. He, oh, okay. What is this? Ultra Shots Curtis Martin. It's an insert. I, you know, so let's see if it's numbered. It is not numbered. It's a nice insert, though. Work Moon. Oh, Work Moon. Sensational 60. Is it numbered? Yes. 40 out of 60. Warwick Moon. Okay. Or, oh, sorry, Warren Moon. This guy was, a, you know, before his time, man, when it came down to like mobile quarterbacks. I mostly know him from his time in, I believe he played for Tampa, right? With uh, uh, John Gruden as well. Nice number card. That's a, I like that one. That's awesome. And then, oh, we still have more. Jason Taylor. Ah, oh, Jason Taylor. Another, uh, another, um, what did I call it? You know, I put the really good players on a different stack. Uh, I'll sort that out later. But, um, Terry Glenn. Jason Taylor, man. Dude, that guy is a beast. I, oh my god, so I don't know who this is, but I miss those um, those Jaguar uniforms. A lot of people think they were ugly, but man, I, I remember they had this 1D lineman, or at least Fred Taylor was on the team when they had those uh, uni unis, you know what I mean? And uh, freaking Fred Taylor was a beast. I forget what D lineman they had. Look, another work mode. Uh, what D lineman they had, but oh man, I forget his name. He, he used to come out and just like be super hype. Jerome Bettis, the bus. Wow, look at that, jeez, I haven't seen him in a while. All right, these cards are like all over the place. Think about like, oh wow, rookie, John Duda. Like one of those guys that just never made it. <laughs> I hope all the rookie, I guess all the rookie cards are them in their college uniforms, like uh, whatever, I'll throw that over there. I mean, I don't really care, but because I, I mean, I didn't buy this to like make money off of it. It's just more for fun. I hope, I hope they have like, you know, rookies in their actual uniforms. I don't, I don't really know how these older boxes work. So, Ed McCaffrey, how's that one, huh? Christian McCaffrey's dad. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hey, and a Brett Favre. Brett Favre, man. Coming out of two of the worst years. So the first season he played was the worst year in football history. Um, uh, as in the draft wise. Or sorry, the, the year he got drafted was pretty bad. I think he's like the only person to ever make like an all-star game in his one. The year after was even worse. Um, because what is that called? They the I believe they traded a first round pick for Brett Favre. The Green Bay Packers did. And... I mean, if you think about it, you're trading a... Uh, Brett Favre was a third-string quarterback at the time, so you're trading a first-round pick for a third-string quarterback, which lets you know how trash that draft was. Ended up being the worst draft of all time, bro. Not a single person in the 1991 draft made it to any All-Star game, like, at all. It's kind of cool to know that. That's the reason why, like, <laughs> you look at those old-school cards. Oh, who's this? Jermaine Crowell. That's pretty cool. Another rookie. Hey, Barry Sanders. Sensational 60. So it's a number card. Yes, 48 out of 60. Take a look at that. Wow. Barry Sanders. Sensational 60. Let's go. Numbered card. I love it. I love it. I love numbered cards just because, I mean, obviously, freaking rarity, you know. Um, so, yeah, I don't think anything else has to be said. Oh, man, these cards are stuck. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. So, find 
comics. Looks, but yeah, man, those 1991 boxes are going for like super cheap. These boxes right here on eBay, they run about like two to three hundred. But um, I never saw any one of these. I, I bought this uh, locally. Uh, a guy down here had it, and it was actually really under market too. Comparing like the boxes on eBay are actually, I believe they only have like ten packs in them. This thing has twenty packs. It's like I really got my money value on that one. I think. Thurman Williams, throw that one in the trash, just joking, Michael Strahan, Michael Strahan, I love that guy, part of the uh, the Gap Tooth Club, that's where I'm at, yeah you, you got a Gap Tooth, I don't give a damn, <laughs> look at that, hey, it's Sensational 60, Deion Sanders, number 48 of, oh, 40. 9 of 60. So I'm guessing there's only one. Oh, wait. I'm hoping there's not 60 of these cards in the box. And I'm just like counting them. Let me see here. So 46, 40, 48. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if this is like number 49 of 60. Like he only has 60 cards printed. Or if he's the number 49th guy out of 60. Do not understand the sensational 60. I don't understand this box. Um, hopefully it's a number card. It might not be a number card now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, shit, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Isaac Bruce, we'll throw him over there. Isaac Bruce was, a, was an animal. Look at them arms, dog. You tell me this dude wasn't on steroids. Get the fuck out of here. Look at... Get... Come on, man. They did not piss test back then. <laughs> and he played for the Redskins. Oh, yo, we... All right. Here we go. Oh, man. These cards, they stuck. Okay. All right. Come on, man. Let's, let's, get, a, let's get a Randy Moss. We got another Troy Aikman. See here. Oh, sensational sixty. See, watch. See, fifty-one of sixty. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced now. I think there's sixty of these cards in here, and I think you just, it, it's, it's not numbered cards anymore. I think it's just he's the fifty-something player of the sixty players that they have the sensational sixty insert. But I mean, it's still cool though. It's still cool. Mark Bruno, remember him? Okay, Warren Sapp. We got Rod Smith. Terrace, whatever. Okay. All right. We're about halfway through the box. At least we got one Peyton. You know what I mean? That's pretty dope. To me, uh, that already brings me uh, my value right there. And an Arenas Williams, dude. I mean, oh, I'm so excited about that card. I love Arenas. All right. Let's see here. Chad Lewis. Jerry Rice. Jerry over here. Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp on that uh, show with him and Skip Bayless. Does anybody value their opinions? <laughs> Ultra shot insert. Let's throw it on that guy. Stack. I don't know, man. They're kind of interesting. Robert Smith, Sensational 60. Oh, yeah. Just throw him. Let's throw a sleeve on him anyways. Maybe I can collect all the 60 of them. Let's see here. Dorsey Levins. Dan Marino, Chris Chandler, okay. Okay, let's go next. Okay. I'm gonna look up these uh, rookies after, see like if they've done anything with their career. I mean, what's the chances of like a rookie actually becoming an all, all pro player? Like, I mean, if you really think about it, there's only a couple per draft that actually do that and even less that actually get into the hall of fame john lynch and yeah, this guy just got into the hall of fame speaking of hall of fame okay talk about this. wow wow ah chris carter yeah would have been better if it was a randy moss can you imagine finding a randy moss um a randy moss like die cut but this is a great card though look at this chris carter that's beautiful. 
Wow. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sleeve this one up. That's nice. That's a nice card. Okay. There we go. Not bad. Okay. Terrell Owens, Sensational 60. T.O. Sleeve him up for sure. T.O. was a beast. Beast. I'd invest in his cards if I was a, I don't know, into investing in wide receivers. I don't know. We'll see if the market raises on that one. He's a really good player, though. Okay. Jake Johnson. Oh, it's stuck. And Jake Plummer. Yeah, you. All right. I always love getting Cardinals. You know what I mean? I don't care. Base cards, whatever. I just want binders full of Cardinals cards. Put that one over there. It's my Cardinal stat. And Peter, whatever. And Marshall Falk. I forgot he played for the Indianapolis Colts. <clears throat> All right, about halfway through this pack or this uh, break. On to 20 something minutes already. Oh, here we go. All right, Keyshawn Johnson. He played for the Jets. I didn't even know that. All right, John Martin. Raymond Harris. David Palmer. I think that's a card on the background. Oh, that might be a 49er. And another rookie. Uh, I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> you want it? You want me? You guys want me to try? All right, here we go. Kivu Kivu Sama Maze. Pretty sure he didn't do much, but all right. Okay, here we go. These sideways cards, man, get me messed up. Michael Irving, that's dope. Throw him in this pile. Martin Hanks and steroids. All right. It's so about halfway done. There we go. Come on, you can't tell me that Ken Harvey guy did not take steroids. He is too big. He looks like he belongs in the WWE. Trent Dilfer, the worst quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl. At least that's what everybody says. But I don't know. I don't agree with that. Mostly because, oh, who's this? Ronnie Holiday. Okay, rookie. Terrell Davis, sensational 60. That's cool. He's number 16 of 60. I have a ton of Terrell Davis cards. I did a, uh, a vintage uh, Denver break. And oh my God, they just had a plethora of uh, cards. Man. Troy Aikman. So this is 1998. I wonder what Troy Aikman's rookie year was. I don't even know. But okay, here we go. Okay, Mike Muhammad, Tito Wooden. Chris Carter. Let's see. Chris Copeland. Reggie White, sensational 60. What number is he? He is number 59 of 60. Second to the last guy. Dude, Reggie White was a beast. Oh my god, he used to have that move where he just like literally, I mean the move is just basically him throwing people to the ground. What's this? Troy Graham, John Elway. John Elway is not a good GM, guys. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think the Broncos should have had another Super Bowl by now, but his uh, the fact that he's so reluctant to get another quarterback is just uh, it's just terrible. Like, dude, if they just had a good quarterback, like they had such a really good defense and really good offense, but I just doesn't want to spend money on a quarterback for some reason. Miller, Larry Centers, a fullback. 
Wow, this is a rare card just because he's a fullback. And I love Cardinals. All right, throw that in my Cardinals stack. Okay, oh. Jay Breed. Okay, these cards are stuck. Ah, I damaged this one. Dang it. I ripped that one way too fast. Look at that. Ah, shucks. Okay, 57 to 60. It's a nobody, but still. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Throw that in here. And then we have a John Elway checklist. Fergie. Barry Sanders. Troy McGee. Okay. I think we have like four packs left. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you have made it this far into the break, I wasn't expecting anybody to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Robert Smith. Emmett Smith. I'm throwing on that one. There's a lot of these. I've caught in, what, three already of these commemorative cards? I don't know what that is, though. But Jimmy Smith, the running back. I wonder if Fred Taylor was playing already. And if he was, then why is it? Oh, it's a wide receiver. Never mind. That was a running back. Sensational 60. Antonio Brown. Just kidding. Antonio Brown, though, by the way, winning a Super Bowl, that's that's pretty awesome, man. Uh, good for him. I mean, a lot of people are after him for no reason, really. I mean, I mean he did do some dumb stuff, but just think about the stuff that he did compared to, like, other guys. Like, bro, some guys have done done some really stupid shit in the NFL, but, like, he really got, like, oh, especially Stephen A. The way Stephen A. talked about him was like, dude, relax. It's not that serious. All right, Darnell Cano, Chris Warren. I mean, I know he, he did do some dumb stuff, but, I mean, uh, I don't think the what he got was warranted, which was pretty much, bro, they almost ruined his whole entire career. Ultra shot. That's enough. Insert. And then Charles Way, sensational 60. Okay. Let's see this one up. It's pretty cool. Sensational 60. Justin Oakley. Deion Sanders. Trim it here. Junior Seau. Oh my gosh. I love this card. Oh, Junior. Wow. Junior Seau and uh, Tom Brady's. Tom Brady's former. <laughs> the guy who was above him. That's funny. No one remembers Drew Bledsoe. <laughs> Drew Bledsoe, man. Oh gosh. To think. Yeah, I was like, it was. This was the. Like, before Cam Newton, it was just Tom Brady and then this guy. Like, that's how long Tom Brady's been in. Like, seriously. That's crazy. Tom Brady's been in this league so long, and he's still so, like, I wouldn't say dominant, but he's, he's just a legend, man. It's crazy. All right, Keenan, Markell, Gerald Moore. Is it Gerald? I don't know. See, that's the thing, too, about these, like, cards, man. These, this thing is so hard to read. Craig, whatever. Wesley Walls. Oh, it's stuck. Ah, and it's a Randy Moss. Shit. Okay. Damn. That's some damage on that. Ah, stuck to it. That's why. It's all right. Still good. Yeah. Randy Moss. Nice. Check that out. Uh, so I guess all the rookies are of them in college. So this in the rookie pile. Let's put that over there. Okay. Keep going. Sensational 60s. So Jeff George with the damage on the card already. I'm just still going to sleeve it. I already sleeved all the other 60s. I'm stuck doing it now. I can't, like, not sleeve them anymore. Adrian Morrell. And Jerris, well, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and try to pronounce everybody's name just because 
then we'll be here forever. All right, two packs left, guys. Let's hope we get a Charles Woodson. That'd be that'd be fire. Cause he was a beast. I mean, he won Heisman in college, so his college one wouldn't be would be pretty cool. Mike Allstott. Oh my God, I miss this guy. This guy was a beast. Chris Metcalf, Troy Davis, Chris Canty, another one of these commemorative cards. I don't, I don't even know what that says anymore. Brad Johnson, let's leave that later. Marvin Harrison, Marvin Harrison was a beast. Terrell Owens, and Jim Brown, last but not least. Michael Burrow. All right, last pack. Last pack, and if you have made it this far into the break, just thank you guys so much for watching. This was fun. Breaking in general is fun to me, so. Oh, God. So stuck. Okay. Will Blackwell. Let's see. Jimmy Smith. Uh, these were at the bottom of the box. Not, I think that's the reason why they're stuck. Rookie, Jawan Banks. So this is going to be our last rookie. That's all right. So we didn't get a Charles Woods in, but hey, we got a Randy Moss and a Peyton Manning. That's not too bad. Chris Conway, Charles Johnson, Frank Sanders. I love the fact that we got a Cardinal in the last box. 81, though. Well, the only 81 I remember is uh, Anquan Bolden, yo. Guy, Arizona Cardinals, and down to our last two cards it is Sean Dawkins and Jamal Anderson. Okay, so a bunch of cards that don't mean anything right here, Ugh. and then we have these. It's pretty cool. Junior Seau, these are the guys like top guys that I pulled. I mean, it's kind of cool to see them in like old school stuff, and then of course, we have the sensational 60s.